Hello, um, we are moving into our next um, shape lesson. We are going to be working with different shapes um, to build word or a name. Um, I went with my name, but you will all have some flexibility about whether you pick your name or you pick a school appropriate word. Um, kind of thinking about spacing. I know some people have really long names, so like a nickname's cool, um, a different word that you like, like maybe you want to do the word love is usually pretty popular with this lesson. But again, that is your choice. Um, I went with my name, as I said before. So how we get started on this lesson um, is you have your piece of paper. And always when I'm doing lettering, I like to space out my lettering first. It's a lot easier to erase um, if you pre-plan it than if you draw out all your letters and there's suddenly no room at the end. Or if you do them all super tiny and they only take up half the page. Um, it just makes it easier to space it out if you just do this little line trick because it's a lot easier to erase and adjust. Um, and then once you're happy with it, you will start sketching out your letters. Now you can do this a couple different ways. Um, I would definitely, you don't have for one, don't have to go in order. So I have a K, I have an E, I have an R, an R, and a Y in my name. Um, if I thought of a really good idea for R first, you can definitely jump to the R. Notice though, I have two different, I have two R's, but I did two different shape R's. Try not to repeat, um, a shape drawing. Um, again, you can get as like funky with it. Like I took Vaporeon and while well, Vaporeon may not typically be an E, I kind of use this portion of this paw, these two feet and the tail to kind of make um, an E here. You can use capital letters, you can use lowercase letters. Um, if it's too tricky, my challenge to you guys is really to try to come up with one shape that's kind of bent into a letter. Um, but if it's too hard, you can do kind of what I did with the K and what I did here with the Y as an example, I mean, as the, with the R as an example, um, where you can build it. So with this one, I built it out of a paintbrush and two crayons. And this one I built out of some yarn um, and a crochet hook. Um, you could also build like with little M&Ms or Skittles. Um, if you are a sports person, you could do like a bunch of basketballs, a bunch of hockey pucks, but try to get at least one letter that is kind of one solid shape. I know that, that can be tricky though, especially you guys working from home. So definitely if you need to build your letters out of multiple shapes, that's okay. After you get that, um, this is kind of my goal for day one is to just get your ideas sketched out. Um, on when I when you guys are in school later this week on the Friday or the um, Thursday, I will be offering a skinny Sharpie um, for you to have in your art kit to add to your art kits that you'll be able to um, trace these objects with a lot easier. If you have a skinny Sharpie at home, you don't have to take it, but I will be offering it so everybody has equal stuff at home. Um, so again, after this, and again, don't worry about this next step so much until the next class, but next step will be to take that skinny Sharpie and to outline everything you want to keep. And then because of the Sharpie's permanent markerness, um, it becomes really, really easy to erase all of those extra pencil lines. So I got rid of all of my lines that helped me in the beginning, and I got rid of all of my other lines. And again, if you push down super hard, it's going to be hard for you to erase. So always push down lightly with your guidelines. Um, but after everything's traced, then you go in and add some color um, and then you'll be done. So again, day one, I really want you focusing on getting everything sketched out. Day two, you're going to trace and color. Please do not sit and do this lesson for like an hour and a half day one um, unless you want to. But again, that would leave you with nothing else to do the second class except for some free choice. Um, so again, we are definitely doing at least two classes. If students need an extra class, I always will give an extra class. It's kind of hard to figure the things out um, between the two at home learners and the in school learners. But my best guess is that this is a two week project with um, the challenge of day one to sketch and come up with all of your shapes and day two to get it traced and colored. Um, please use anything that you need to help you draw. You can search images. 
Um, you can again build out of different things. Anything that will help you get your drawing the way you want it to be um, is okay with me. Um, please reach out if you have any questions. Um, and I'm excited to see how they come out. Thank you guys so much.